You shall not take vengeance or bear grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Hmm? I'm sorry, I wasn't sure what time service started. She late, but that dress is right on time. What's your hustle? I'm Dr. Latrice Monroe. I'm a therapist. I have a PhD in psychology. You ain't gonna make no type of chat around here with a lame hustle like that. Why would somebody smart enough to be a doctor want to put a head shop in this neighborhood? Please be careful. What's wrong with this neighborhood? It's full of black people. Black people don't talk about their problems. I'm selling the block. Selling the block? Dude. They're gonna tear down, pave over, and use this land as a parking lot. Parking, parking lot. lot? For all we know, Latrice could be the answer to our problems. <gasps> I can't believe how good I feel right now. <laughs> you do you, boo! You must be real good if you can turn Barbie into Air Kabaji. <laughs> I have a black belt in mind games. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Davis, you working today? Yes, I am working today. Look at all the work I'm doing. Boom, there you go. That was a trailer for A Snowy Day in Oakland arriving on March 17th. I'm Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. And I'm a little flustered because I have to say, before I start, uh, I, I'm, I am blessed to do what I do and talk to so many people every day. But today is a snowy day at the NRW because uh, it's a snowy day in Oakland and you'll understand why when you watch the film, but I am blessed to be speaking with Miss Loretta Devine, who is uh, a reason why I got into filmmaking, oh who my God. makes me smile, makes me cry, makes me laugh. And it just comes from a genuine place. So I just want to thank you, uh, Miss Devine, uh, for thank just being you. the treasure that you are. Thank you. That's so sweet of you to say that. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Definitely. You're, uh, such an honor. I'm, I'm, whoa. Anyway, you are amazing. And now you're contributing to your pantheon of amazing work with Jeanette Ellis, uh, <laughs> who looks great in short shorts um, <laughs> uh, in, in a snowy day in Oakland. Can you tell me on stepping on, on board this project, uh, working with director Kim Bass uh, uh, on this and just this amazing cast? Uh, what was it like, uh, you know, bringing life to Jeanette? It was just so much fun. And I think it, it started in the makeup trailer and in the costume room. Everybody was just excited about this project. We started back in 2017, to be honest, when we first started filming it. And I think Blackish was at it, its height. Everybody was just so busy with so many different projects. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it was just a wonderful thing to do. Kim Bass called and asked me, would I be interested? in doing this character and he sent the script and I just fell in love with 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 the character. Miss Ellis was just off the chain with with the popping the from I just made up this character that she loved chewing gum. She was popping gum and she was always doing something that she had no business doing, gossiping, not bringing the mail the way she should, picking out what mail she wanted to deliver, talking about people down the street. Uh, talking about stuff, people just thought she was crazy. And so I played her big. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, pull back, Loretta, pull back. <laughs> but I absolutely um, adored the fact that she kept the energy and the comedy in the show going. And she is definitely, if this were a superhero film, uh, she was the superhero of A Snowy Day in Oakland because you saved the day in more ways than one. People <laughs> will have to watch the film to find that out. Um, what I love about this film and as a person of color is it speaks on how important it is for us to break down those social stigmas of talking about what's wrong with us, uh, going to therapy. Um, I love that it was set also up with Dion Cole in a barbershop. And which also he shared with his uh, ex-wife in a beauty shop where a lot of that happens in our community for conversation and talking about our issues. Uh, what was that for me? What, what did that mean for you and helping also, you know, because you're a legend and for us out here and <laughs> helping create that conversation on, on why, uh, you know, we well, should talk on this. I think things. that's a big part of what the movie is about, um, whether or not uh, Black people really go to therapy or uh, we go to God. And then later in the movie, all of those things are discussed. But my mother was a beautician. So I grew up in a beauty shop where people talked about everything. And, but 
I, serious problems? No, you didn't talk to anyone or go outside of the home. And if there was a problem, it usually had something to do with that, an extreme problem where you knew uh, someone needed help. But if you were just getting through life and all the problems of life, it was understood that you had to figure everything out. That was part of being what you were. And so, um, and even to this day, I think that's the way people feel about therapy, that therapy, I don't need therapy. What the hell am I going to pay somebody to talk to me? I just talk to whoever I want to talk to. So I kind of think it's like that now. And I think once people see this, maybe some people will, will change their mind about it's cool to do it, but I think most people will just struggle on or struggle through. Um, I, also, we have our music too that is sort of like our therapy. I mean, music changes every mood. I mean, m music, you know, works for us too. But the focus of this movie and the way the, the through line goes, therapy carries it all the way from the beginning to the end. And it does it with a beautiful lady with great legs and red shoes, you know? <laughs> and I would also say film. You said music. I would also add film and like the work you've done. Like I can relate with a lot of my family and friends and have, and I have special memories because of a lot of your work uh, uh -huh. and the conversations that we had that grew out of those films. Um, because it's so important that we talk, uh, especially if we can't express that feeling. And uh, yeah, I think this movie your work. will make talk I think with this movie will make people talk about whether or not it it does make a difference and usually it has to be someone that goes to therapy or has been to therapy but with us we don't even like to talk about whether or not that's part of what we do uh, because it may affect everything uh, how mm -hmm. people look at you whether or not you get the job and all of that so it's not something that we talk about often. And I think it was very smart of Mr. Bass to have a movie that's about something that we don't like to talk about. And because of the pandemic now, everybody needs to go <laughs> because their lives have been so changed yeah. tremendously. It would be neat if everybody could go to therapy. They should have free therapy. That would really help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of putting it, well, I won't even go there on how messed up our government <laughs> is and what we should spend our money on um <laughs> but they definitely the people should spend their money and see this film um with working on this uh, and, and the communication and uh that was spoken about in regards to the work uh the work with everybody on the cast this is such an amazing cast what was it like for you uh reuniting in some instances with some familiar faces and friends uh tell me about just the production uh well i think i think for me it was so what what was easy about it was that i had worked before with just about everybody that was in the cast on some level or some degree and i think um after you work with people you you have a certain trust and 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 you and you know their style usually of what they like to do um and so that also helps a lot. And so it was just a lot of fun. Uh, it was a lot of work because, you know, you got to do all your work. You got to create the character. You have to embrace the character and you have to make everybody believe that that is is what they're seeing is, is really who they who you are. And everybody that was in the show, they were, they were great at doing all of those things. So the flow of the, the the rhythm of the show and the way it goes in and out, you believed everything that was happening, which makes it work and which makes it so special. So that finally, when the day comes to whether or not it's going to snow, uh, <laughs> you know, you're not surprised if it does, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Love the messaging in this. Love how we're creating this conversation. Um, I, I'm just so honored and delighted to be speaking with you. Um, I think this is just another feather in your cap, another great memorable character uh, oh, that I can't wait the world you. to see. Um, uh, I, I just, I, I, I had something I wanted to say, but I'm forgetting it now because I'm speaking to Miss Loretta Devine, y'all, who is in a snowy day in Oakland arriving on March 17th. Um, just can't wait to see more of what you're going to do. And just on behalf of uh, everyone out there, thank you for just everything you're contributing to the world with your work. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Everybody, y'all, check out Miss Loretta Devine in a snowy day in Oakland, arriving on March 17th. It's your boy, Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. honor loretta miss divine um oh, that's so you good. are a treasure hi hi awesome so we're already recording okay i'm gonna count us in i'm gonna insert the trailer right before this okay um in a one two three